Pomona, Southern California, and this is the first place we're going to eat at. It is called the Carlos. We literally met some locals. We said, "Where's a good place to eat some American food?" And they sent us here. It's got burgers, it's got pasta, it's got ribs, it's got all your typical sort of American style of food, and uh, it comes at a recommendation. So, the Carlos, our first place to eat in Ramona, Southern California. <laughs> I've got uh, the sirloin steak here. Um, the quality of the steak is really good. I'm not normally a steak person, but seeing as we're here in America, I thought I'd give it a go. It's um, medium and it's been, it's, it's really good. The quality is just uh, much better than we would get back home. And the, the potato is sweet potato. Um, thoroughly recommend it. It's not greasy or oily. It's just really nicely prepared. And the um, vegetables come with uh, a sprinkling of garlic on, which is uh, yeah, it's a real, real treat. It's, it's been very, all of it has been very well prepared. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd eat this again. I've got the chicken Caesar salad and I'm really liking the chicken so far. I like how it's been grilled and it's really got a good flavour to it. The salad is very succulent and fresh and the eggs are very cold and crispy and it really works well together. I would definitely recommend this meal. I've got the veal cordon bleu. Uh, veal is normally quite an expensive meat, it's baby cow, it's normally quite expensive in England, but here it's quite reasonably priced, so I uh, want to give it a go, see what it's like. So as you can see, you've got the veal meat, the cow meat, you've got ham, which is obviously from a pig, and then you've got some cheese, that's the cordon bleu cheese. I imagine that's quite strong, and you've got some gravy as well. Mm. That's a good combination. So the cheese is really strong. Really like big flavour in the cheese and the ham complements the, the veal quite nicely. The veal is in the steak. It's more like ground meat so not so good there. But the combination of everything with the gravy and the cheese and the ham and the veal is incredible. This is a great meal. It has no vegetables, but I guess to be expected over here. But um, other than that, it's a really, really filling, really excellent meal. Veal cordon bleu. So I've ordered the hot um, spicy uh, barbecue wings, um, it's my all time favourite, especially in America. It's um, really delicious and they've done it to a tea, it's um, nice and spicy and I've got a really lovely dip here, yeah, I think some kind of like um, maybe um, a blue cheese um, dip with celery, it's really really super delicious, yep, I recommend it. So here we are in Ramona in South California and I'm walking backwards up Main Street and the family's a bit hungry so I whacked out the phone and I googled best places to eat in Ramona and this little restaurant came up, Country Kitchen, spelt with a K, nice and edgy. It was established in 1939, it's a family run restaurant, they try and cook their food, you know, their local food cooked in traditional home cooking styles. So I'm really excited to get a taste and a flavor of the food in Ramona. Let's do it. I've gone for the cob salad, uh, mainly because I didn't want anything heavy or rich. And um, as you can see, there's plenty of it. It's all very fresh produce. I, I can't um, complain about anything here. The chicken's freshly cooked. There's some really excellent bacon, um, a boiled egg, and some avocado, 
and lettuce and it's it's all really good quality stuff and a ranch sauce which when you're in America you have to try the ranch sauce yeah um, I think it's a very healthy option it can fill you up without bogging you down with weight and richness so yeah I'm very pleased with this decided to go for the Californian omelette. It's three eggs and spinach, tomato and bacon, lots of other things. It comes with cottage cheese and fresh fruit. There were many options of what we could have had but we chose these two and they're really fresh and lovely. It's covered in cheese which is really filling and it also came with um, American biscuits which is very soft and light and fluffy. I think mum will expand on that later. I like the omelette, it's very filling and it's very thick and it feels really healthy. So, so this is what um, uh, is an extra dish, we, we just ordered a side together with the omelette that we were uh, going to share. Uh, it was very intriguing uh, when they said it was called a biscuit, um, because obviously a biscuit is a cookie, and, um, but actually it's equivalent to um, uh, like a hot scone, really nice, hot homemade fresh and just with the um, um, the soft cream butter it's so so delicious um, it also comes with something called a gravy but it's not gravy as we know it in the UK it's a gravy it's a bit like a bechamel sauce so it's a thick creamy sauce quite herby actually and yeah it's a nice combination so something very different um, it's good So there's quite a well-known American meal and that is called a Philly cheeseburger or a Philly sandwich and that's what I have here, I have a Philly sandwich. Now we're nowhere near Philadelphia which if geography serves is the other side of the country but clearly it's a classic meal and you can get it over here in California as well. I've gone for the beef, it comes with beef, you've got some pepper cheese in there, you've got some actual peppers, maybe you have a bit of salad in a homemade bun. It looks quite appealing, it's quite big. As you can see, most of the filling has fallen out the bread. Like, they're, they're not stingy with what they put inside your burgers or your sandwiches. So let's give it a go, and I'll let you know what I think. Mmm, mmm. So it comes with chips or other stuff. It's filling, it's extremely filling. The bread, the beef, the cheese, the pepper. It all combines together quite harmoniously and it's, it's a big, thick meal. This will keep me full for a long, long time. And the way they've prepared it, the beef I think is, is maybe local or at least it's very fresh, as is the potatoes, as is the, the salad that comes with it. So I think the attention to detail and the home style of cooking really feels authentic. I feel like I've stepped back in time here in California and I'm eating some proper dish cooked by a local person. So um, overall, it's a great experience and I highly recommend a Philly burger or Philly sandwich even if you're not in the state of Philadelphia.